Hello everyone and welcome back to our illustrative course. This is me Farid Fana, your instructor, guide and friend in this channel. In this video, we're going to look at perspective tool. How can we use perspective tool? Uh, how creative can we be with perspective tool? And a lot of other stuff. Let's jump to the screen of your computers. First, if you click on your perspective guide tool, it will automatically give you a guide, a perspective guide. There are two things which will be appeared on your screen by just clicking your perspective guide tool. First, it will be your perspective and the next thing, this little icon. What this little icon does, we will look at it a bit later, but first we need to know the grid we have. This is the grid we, you can see it's in a two perspective. We have three options. Go to your view, there is a menu perspective guide. You have one point perspective. This is one point perspective. This is, uh, where is it? Two point perspective. And the last one is three point perspectives. We have three point perspective grid in our perspective grid tool. Manually we work in two point perspective view and two point perspective we have two points left and right you can also come to the bottom of your perspective first if you click and drag it will squeeze your right perspective if you click and drag you can also squeeze your left perspective if you come here and click and drag you can increase or decrease the grids you have if you come here, you can bring your plane up and down. And if you come here to these circles, it will separate your grids. If you need it sometimes, you can separate it. If you not, leave it the way it is. The last but not least, these handles. If you click and drag this one, it will change the perspective view of your grid. And if you come and click and drag this one, it will change the whole location of your grid. So this is how your perspective grid works. If you have messed up to your perspective grid, just go back to your view, perspective grid, click on two point perspective. It will go back to your normal position. Now what can we do with our perspective? Just go to your rectangle. If I just come to my grid and draw a rectangle here, it will draw a rectangle in the perspective I am drawing. My perspective on the left side, it also faces to the left side, and then it will draw on the left side. Change its colors, let's get rid of the fill, uh, stroke. Change the fill to blue. And I can also go to my ellipse tool, just draw an ellipse. Now if I move my ellipse tool, you can see it moves, but it's not moving in our perspective for moving it in the same perspective what what do we mean by uh, in our perspective you can see the grids the grids which are near to me are bigger than the grids which are further than me which are smaller now if i bring this uh, ellipse uh, shape of mine to this position it should increase its size and if i move it further then it should decrease its size now it's not working. Why? Because we have another tool, which is perspective selection tool. Perspective selection tool moves the shape according to the perspective or the perspective view of mine. If I bring it here, you can see the size of my ellipse is getting increased. If I move it further, you can see the size of my ellipse is getting decreased. This is how perspective selection tool works. Now I have a question. I draw a shape here. It is facing to the left side of my screen. What do you think? If I shape in this section, would it be facing to the right side or to the left side? Let's try it and let's see. Still, it is facing to the right side of my screen. Why? Now here's the place which this little icon software works. 
I have selected the left grid of mine. That's why wherever I draw things, it will be applied on the left side of my grid. If I select the right side of the grid, now whatever I draw or wherever I draw my shape, it will only work on my right side. Understood? If, and if I click on the bottom, then it will only work on the bottom of my screen or perspective. It looks messy. Let's get rid of all these shapes. And what can we do? I can just draw a shape here, then change its color to a little bit lighter. Select this grid, right click, draw another shape here. If you want to get rid of this grid, just go to your grid, exit it, it will be deleted. Let's play with our perspective tool a little bit more. Let me just put three grids. Let me increase its size. Now if I go to my rectangle, I can draw one rectangle in. Okay, select my left grid. Draw a rectangle here and color it red. Okay, black stroke, increase its stroke. And draw another. And another. Let me fill all the grids with the... Now change the perspective. And now here we just draw ourselves a Rubik's Cube. Let's move it here. Let's draw something else. For example, if I go back to my Perspective tool, go to View, Perspective, send it back to our normal. Uh, um, what else can we do? Let me draw a uh, rectangle on the right side. And another on the left side. Let me decrease the strokes to one and another shape. Here's the shape. Then here. Now let me play with the color a bit. Let's change this color to maybe black. This one to gray. And this one to darker gray. I can do one thing more. Um, I can also do the same thing in the bottom of my grid. The right side, left side. And in my Z axis, I can say, click on it, go to our eyedropper tool, click on this one to copy paste the same color, hold control to select this one, click on right, uh, left shape of yours to copy the same color, click on this one, and this is the same color we have. Now let's get rid of my circle. This is a box which is open. How can we play with this or another circle to make it more realistic or visible? And this is the circle I have. And let's change this color to blue. Maybe let me put a gradient color. Yeah, what is gradient? We will have a full lesson on gradient color, how to apply it, how to do its setting, where it will be it suitable to use it. So don't worry about that, we'll cover that. I'm just applying a simple gradient color on this. Click on this one, this, this, and the last one, right click on it, arrange, bring to front. Now the circle is inside the box I 
have. This is how you can play with your perspective tool. So there are a lot of other options you can do things or create things, create houses, um, create any 3D shapes, draw any 3D shapes you have in mind with the help of Perspective Grid Tool. I hope you guys understood. If you haven't, again I'm telling you the same thing. Repeat this lesson, watch it again and practice on your computer.